All right, so uh, A, I really thank many for have, setting the intentions to have a conversation at our local level regarding topics which may not be in the mainstream medical sciences. So our goal is really to bring people who are speaking the language of wisdom within our local town. They may be very busy and known in Boston and California and God knows, but they may not be very well known here in town, or they may be. We want to kind of take advantage of their presence and their gifts and their knowledge locally. So that was at least my interest as we began to uh, have this conversation regarding, you know, let's re enrich our communities by our local talent and our local knowledge base. Um, certainly, I do medical sciences that I've learned in medical school. They are psychiatric care and psychiatric treatments. But we also have begun to incorporate it in our, into our practice things that Krishna earlier alluded to, whether it's yoga or healthful living or healthful thinking or energy work or thinking about other ways to really f find healing. Uh, I recognize that there's no really one way to get better. Um, what may work for me may not be something that suits somebody else. Uh, and I have r r recognized the humility that everyone makes their own choices, everyone has a different place in their journey, and I really have no job in trying to tell them what to do and how fast to do it. Some people take longer time to get there, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, people like me never get there. <laughs> I'm always searching and still looking. Uh, but regardless, uh, the humility as a clinician has been very, very beautiful. It, it, it allows me to free myself from the responsibility. It becomes a sharing. You know, we share knowledge between two human souls. And then each one makes a decision what seems to be in their best interest and if they're ready for that. So the intention of this converse, uh, conference is really more conversation and more dialogue rather than a didactic group of people teaching you as if you don't know it. We see that you also are very knowledgeable, so we will have these conversations, and we happen to be here, but we could be there as well. So there's no one dialogue of knowledge here. It's a communication of knowledges. Um, so, I, I have uh, for, uh, you know, uh, Krishna said some intention. Uh, I also want to kind of also have uh, Kylie and Sally set the intention. They are part of our planning committee when we begin to do these conversations regarding the, the meeting and what should transpire. And uh, they have an amazing story of personal journey and a personal awareness. Uh, so I will just let them share their story as they choose to. Good morning. Um, we, we have, and I, you can't see us, but we have a theme here going, which is a tree. I'm sorry, we have our theme, which is a tree. Um, going here, so we thought we'd start with our yoga tree. <laughs> I'll start with a very synopsis where my life changed in 2007 with late stage ovarian cancer, which has a poor prognosis. I call it the ticking time bomb. I, I had very successful and excellent treatment in Pittsburgh. Um, I went into remission in 2008, but knowing just waiting for the cancer to come back creates a lot of, or created a lot of anxiety for me. My story, my journey includes what I am so passionate about is the impact of food choices, in particular 
particularly a whole plant-based diet after doing a lot of reading, research, going to workshops. I educated myself and feel strongly that what you eat really influence the mind, the body, the mood, the spirit. Um, I became a lot more confident, self-empowered, and that is my story. I'll, Kylie. Um, that was my mother, and so I'm telling my story now. So at age six, I was diagnosed with uh, hearing loss in both ears, and as a result, I got hearing aids and um, much support. And um, related to that, I was diagnosed with a le learning disability, um, primarily because I couldn't kind of hear as I was growing up. Um, you know, the right way to speak and the right way to spell words. So uh, through that. Um, I still worked hard to catch up and not let my disabilities um, kind of intrude or kind of put me back in specifically my academic learning. And um, even though I had to work a lot harder than my peers in grade school and even now, um, I kind of let my feelings of self-doubt not push me back. And at age 18, I continued my way to Temple University. Uh, through that, I developed a love of learning. Um, I loved uh, learning about different cultures, different people, and um, I traveled and explored uh, different cultures. There's a picture of me in Mexico with a lemur on my head. And um, last December, I graduated at Point Park University um, in Global Cultural Studies. And um, towards the end of you know my senior year, you have to realize what these four, about four years of all the money and everything you're, what you want to do after you graduate. And um, I had so many interests and um, so not really sure what I wanted to do. I came back from say, a visit to St. Clair and I thought like, that's what I want to do. So um, with that in mind, I graduate or I applied to Point Park University and, um, this, and I'm starting in about two weeks now my uh, master's in psychology. Um, so with our focus on mindfulness and gratitude, I you know, really strive, needless to say, to keep in mind that I I'm still here, that I am um, enjoying life, that I um, have the support of family and friends and colleagues. And Kylie. So we some, have some advice, uh, practicing tree pose, um, some advice from a tree, stand tall and proud, sink your roots into the earth, become content with natural beauty, go out on a limb, drink plenty of water, and remember your roots. And enjoy the view. And of course, enjoy the view. So as a reflection, um, just take a moment to question what your intent for this conference is. What do you want to learn or what do you want to come away with today? And what do you want to practice in your life's journey? So if you have something that you can write down, take a few moments here and write down your thoughts, or if, because this is something you might want to revisit today or certainly look at at the end of the conference. Thank you.